I've made a new bow. So previously I made this little uh, baby bow and this does about six, uh, seven shots if you uh, stack the extra one on top. And um, I measured the draw weight on that at about uh, 30 pounds. And I think it's got about 11 or 12 uh, elastic bands on each side. So that works okay. Anyway, I thought, well, let's see what I can do to make a bigger bow. So that's three sections. So there's essentially the same idea on the back. Uh, a lot of the components are actually the same. The uh, trigger mechanism is the same and uh, the handle is the same. Uh, the arm is more or less the same. But I've made this 10 shots, so it's a little bit deeper, so it's just turned. I did try and put a little hook on the back, but it, it, it doesn't actually stop the, the, uh, uh, the string. So uh, I'll redesign that one again. Um, and then what I've done is I've I've made a let me see on this one made a, a triangle in the front and uh, put holes through it uh, in the CAD so that they can all be screwed together. This joint's actually quite um, quite straight. This one didn't quite. I mean, if I'd have sanded it down more, maybe I could have got it right. I thought it was straight. It doesn't actually affect anything, so that's okay. Uh, and the other thing, because on the baby bow, your string only ever ended up the tip of the arrow, that was fine. So on this one, I've just done a little um, recess so that the string will just drop underneath the tip. Uh, it doesn't always work because this is a shoelace and not a proper uh, bow string. Um, the other thing I've done on this one, there is a neodymium magnet uh, just below this. Um, so I just made a gap in the CAD and uh, that's just fitted in just to hold the uh, um, the tip of the arrow in. So um, this has now got uh, the double length uh, post office elastic bands times three on each side uh, plus one of the normal ones that I've just knotted together. Um, this is the first time I've actually put this together. I have shot it. It's um, it, the only slight niggle I've got is that there's not a lot of tension here. Um, oh, I've only fired it with three bands. This will be the first time I've fired it with four. So, uh, and I've got a little bit of overhang here where I've used this previously. And that interferes with the trigger as you get to the back. And I'm not sure whether it helps to get the, get the uh, string latched in or whether it hinders. Um, so, you know, I'll probably just trim that trim that back but anyway it was uh, one that I'd made for another purpose so uh, reused so I will see if we can fire it it's got uh, full 10 arrows in the magazine and if I can clamp my phone into the vice not on the screen it's on the case then okay uh, the targets still the same target and when I fired it with three bands um, yeah, I'm going to need a thicker target, otherwise I'm going to have no garage door left. So, I um, can't see this in the viewfinder, but it does seem to pass the arrow, and it does seem to lock the string. Um, I'll say, I'm not sure whether it's that pushing it back that's doing it, because this isn't very tensioned at the front. Um, anyway, we shall see. Right, let's do a few shots. There you go, not bad. Missed the target with one of them and uh, broken the tip off. But um, hey, that was not too shabby. And uh, that penetrates, I mean, this is three, la three layers of polystyrene, so I mean, it's not exactly a uh, uh, heavy duty target. Um, but <laughs> that, that's penetrated. Uh, rather a lot so that's uh, much more powerful than the the little one so uh, quite a successful um, little uh, little project 
really. So when I printed these, uh, they're printed uh, in one part, and did they have any support? No. Uh, so there's a few bits of stringiness underneath in the, whoop, in the groove. But that's okay because it's only running across this, the uh, uh, the stopper piece, which is the little screw there. Um, so they were printed on this side. Uh, this go and the reason it's two colours is because I had this gold and I thought I'd use the gold that look sort of like wood. Uh, that just lifted slightly, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but the gold ended up wrecking my nozzle. Um, so uh, new nozzle and uh, the gold is in the bin. Uh, well, it's not in the bin. It'll be safe for maybe one millimetre nozzle uh, just to do something with. Um, so anyway, I used the red for the rest of it because that actually works. Fed up with trying to clean the blinking nozzle out. Um, so yes, uh, I think I need a bigger target before I end up putting any more band on that. Um, that, considering that that's hardly got anything really, uh, that was quite tricky to draw at the at the the end of the stroke. Um, that is my bad shoulder, the one with the broken collarbone, which I've fully physioed yet. So, hmm, um, put a bigger target on and see if I can put another couple of bands on. That is. Uh, the lethal. <laughs> right. Uh, bye bye. Have a have a nice day.